everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video because we are going to be talking about where to get the best basic tees for dirt cheap. So in my opinion, I think having basic tees is such a wardrobe essential that you have to have. It literally is the foundation of your outfit when you're adding layers and other pieces to it. So I want to talk about ways you can get it for really cheap, how to spot a really good basic tee. So today we're going to be covering fabric of a basic tee, how much you should pay for a basic tee, what to look out for, and where to get them. So I will be giving you guys my best insights on those specific categories that we will be talking about. So let's Let's just go ahead and get into the video. First, let's talk about fabric of a basic tee. So this really determines if you are going to get a really good basic tee or not. Most basic tees consist of cotton. Cotton is a natural fiber, so it is considered more of a high quality material. Since cotton is highly produced, it is very cheap for retailers to use this specific fabric, which in my opinion is totally awesome. The downside is, is if you don't take care of cotton, I think we all know that it will shrink incredibly to the size of like when you used to be five years old. Cotton is also more on the stiff side when it comes to materials, unless it is mixed in with some synthetic fibers to get some more movement and softness. So cotton is a natural fiber, so it won't get those pesky pills that we always see on fabric those come from synthetic fibers uh, but cotton doesn't do that since it's a natural fiber so as long as you take care of um, any clothing that you have that is made of cotton it will last you for so many years so let's talk about price so when it comes to cotton so since cotton is uh, very inexpensive to produce and for retailers to use this material it is not expensive so most cotton t-shirts or most tees will be more on the affordable side uh, but there are some tees that are way overpriced in my opinion also to make a t-shirt there isn't a lot of work involved really there's just a few stitches here here at the bottom and there isn't much work so it's not like a blouse with lace where it's like more um, detailed a lot more work goes into it in my opinion you should never pay any more than twenty dollars for a basic tee because at that point i think it's an absolute ripoff and it honestly costs the retailer probably like a dollar or two maybe less to make a basic tee so it's really not that expensive to make and you shouldn't be overpriced for it. a lot of retailers do overprice for it and just because something has a high price tag does not mean it's good quality i say that on my channel over and over again and it is very true so in my opinion I still think 15 to 20 dollars is still too expensive for a tee I would say stick to under 15 dollars but if you find something that's like absolutely amazing fits you amazing it's like the best tee you've ever tried 20 dollars is okay if it makes you happy but anything beyond that I think it's a ripoff in my opinion though it is important not to get overcharged for a basic tee you do want to make sure you get a well-made top as well so let's go over things to look out for when we are looking for a basic tee. first one is we already identified that uh, cotton tees mostly consist of cotton sometimes it is mixed in with a synthetic fiber so that way it has a little bit more of movement a little bit of a more different feel to it but which one is best to get one that is a hundred percent cotton or one is that mixed in with some synthetic fibers honestly it's completely up to you it depends on how you want your cotton t-shirt to fit how you want it to feel on your skin personally for me I enjoy cotton tees that are in a hundred percent cotton so that way I know they're going to last me for years and there's a hundred percent chance that you're not gonna get those pesky pills on them as well so when it comes to my opinion I think it's best to stick to a hundred percent cotton I have a few different basic tees I wanted to show you guys so I have this white one that I got from Target this one is 100% cotton and I was honestly surprised when I felt the fabric of this and then looked at the tag it is 100% cotton because usually cotton is a little bit more stiff it's not as like doesn't have as much movement as this white one I purchased from Target so um, I guess the way it was made or just some other factors play into it too could make it feel a little bit different so always look at the tag but I got this one for $10 at Target I'm absolutely in love with it it fits so awesome it's the exact fit I wanted wanted that more boyfriend style fit to it a little bit more loose uh, if you're looking for a good white one in that boyfriend style I highly recommend this one from Target I'll link it down below if you guys are interested but I love this one then I have the t-shirt that I'm wearing as well right here that I got from H&M. This one is 80% cotton, 15% polyester, and 5% elastane. So it feels more like a stretchy jersey material. I got this t-shirt in two other colors because I just kind of liked how it fit. I have it in a striped version and an olive green version. So you could tell looking at these two tees side by side, the white one 
um, is a little bit more loose, a little bit more flowy looking. And then the black one that I have is a more jersey stretchy material. So it honestly just depends what kind of a tee you want, how you want it to fit, how you want it to look like. And the fabrics and materials definitely play into that. So keep that in mind when you're looking for tees. To look at how you want it to fit and then go try on different kinds and see what you like. The second one is to pay attention to the details. So, and same thing applies to just because something is priced high doesn't mean it's a high quality material. Also means the same thing for just because it's priced really low does not mean it's high quality at all. And, in any way so you want to pay attention to all the details so when you're looking at a basic tee you don't want to get ripped off but you also don't want to buy a very cheap tee so look at the stitching so really pay attention to that so look at the sleeves make sure the stitching is in the right spot and nothing is folded over looking weird because that will affect how it looks like on you make sure the collar is good make sure the hemming is good just like all the stitching make sure it's just like it looks good and the next thing you want to look out for is making sure you get a tee that is right for your body shape so um not all v-necks look great on every body shape not all crew necks look great on every body shape or scoop necks or whatever um you definitely want to make sure you figure out what looks best on your frame because that will play in whether you wear the basic tee or not i know this firsthand i used to buy basic tees and v-necks and i never ended up wearing them because they don't really look the best on my frame so keep that in mind when you're looking for basic tees just see what kind of a style looks best on your frame okay so now we went over the fabrics the price what to look out for where do we actually get basic tees for dirt cheap where's the best place to get them so in my opinion anywhere honestly anywhere as long as you look at the things that i just talked about with you guys today so fabrics what to look out for make sure you look at the price tag you can honestly get them anywhere and in my opinion there's no one place to get the best basic tea like this is the only place you have to go to most basic teas are made the same made the same fabric this cut is the same but if i were to choose a few places that i love um i absolutely love h and m they have amazing Amazing basic tees very good quality and I think they are the ones that are more on the dirt cheap side so the basic tees that I showed you here so this black one that I have I have it in striped and olive green I got it for five dollars I mean what like how insane is that I mean that's why I got them in multiples because they were like so freaking cheap and the awesome thing about getting tees from H&M most of them are under ten dollars which is awesome and they will last you for so long because most of them are made of cotton sometimes mixed in with synthetic fibers like this one I have here but they seriously last you a long time so I highly recommend H&M and then Target so the white basic white tee that I got from Target is absolutely awesome uh, Target has some really good options when it comes to basic tees and then I know that Madewell also also has really good tees and usually they are under $20 I think most of them are like in the $14 $15 range uh, they have really nice basic tees they're really known for their really awesome quality basic t-shirts and then Amazon also has really good options for basic tees as well so I will link all of my favorites down below but again there's no one magical glorious place to get a basic tee it's really just looking at the fabrics um, and how it's stitched and just looking out for all the little things and making sure it fits you right to your body shape that's what matters definitely do not overpay for a basic tee I know you guys probably hear this all the time I probably sound like a broken record but it is true just because something has a high price tag does not mean or reflect that it is high quality you really have to pay attention to all the details when you are looking for something that will last you for years hopefully you found this video helpful let me know if you want to see more videos like these on uh, where to get the best wardrobe essential pieces uh, these videos are pretty popular on my channel like investment pieces wardrobe essentials so if you have any specific requests comment down below let me know I'd be more than happy to provide valuable information for you guys help you guys in any way that I can and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here I do weekly videos on fashion and lifestyle I would definitely love to have you back but I will see you very soon in my next video Bye.